Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So, this is a, a very different video, obviously, uh, since you've read the title and the thumbnail. Um, this is a more of an account review, but I didn't want it to just be that. Uh, so I, or, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, this is me talking about why Necromancer, but I didn't want it to just be that, so this is also kind of an account review. Um, I know I don't really, I don't do a lot of these, uh, mostly because I don't know if it, uh, it not a lot changes, um, over the course of a couple of months. Uh, like if I were to do one now, I'm not gonna do one in, like, March. Um, or, you know, like, it would be like, now, maybe, like, mid-year, and then, like, end of year, that, like, that's the only time you would notice, like, major changes, um, and it would actually kind of matter, or else it would always just be like, yep, I still have all of my maxed out commons, epics, and rares, um, but, uh, I, I didn't want to just talk about Necromancer, um, but I did want to also talk about Necromancer, and then, uh, I wanted to do something else, and uh, at that ended up being... I was like, I, I should do an account review. Um, and uh, since Rush Royale isn't giving us new updates on the ne the next uh, patch, or the next update, uh, I thought that I would do this as content. Um, so, in terms of my, uh, my account review, uh, this is, I again, commons, rares, epics, done. Uh, except for clown, obviously. Um... I have my clown at 10, because obviously whenever I see it in the store, I'm just constantly buying it. Uh, that goes to 15, uh, so, but mine is at 10. In terms of uh, major changes in here, um, obviously I just got Spirit Master. Um, I have the Blade Dancer, uh, the Knight Statue, and Chant Sword maxed. Um, I just maxed out Spirit Master. Um, I actually, uh, I'm one away from the, uh, naturally upgrading this to 15, um, and so, and I've been waiting for that forever, um, I'm obviously not gonna use a book on it, uh, and so I'm just literally waiting for one copy. I just got a copy of Scrapper, um, and especially with Talents, um, I'll be able to naturally upgrade it to 14 whenever I get that. Um, I did buy a couple of, you know what's funny, I wanna talk about this for a second. Uh, so, Tesla isn't... It's not, it's, it's good. Um, I don't think it's the best. Um, because, uh, as Small Shamer pointed out, it doesn't have any mechanic to, uh, increase your damage, uh, over the course of time. It was, it, it was at a time when, uh, that mechanic didn't really, um, I want to say exist yet, but like, they weren't, like, e every, every unit that comes out now has a mechanic where, Oh, if you do this thing, it gets plus 0.1% uh, damage over time, and it stacks. Um, Tesla came out at a time when not every unit that they were bringing out had that mechanic. They, like, developed that mechanic, then really liked that mechanic, and now every unit that comes out has that mechanic. Um, except for Clown. Clown doesn't have that mechanic. Uh, maybe if Clown gets talents, it'll be like, every time it fails, you get plus one more mana. I don't know. Um, but, uh, I'm deciding, I, I decided to upgrade, uh, Tesla be specifically, and this is the only reason why, um, specifically because in Dragon Rift, nobody likes playing Technogenic. Mostly because there are no good ones, but look at this. Techno, 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 Techno. Like, you would have so many free battles if you had a really good techno deck. Um, and it, and the problem is, like, it, in terms of techno cards, uh, at the, you know, 3,500 crit, 3,500 crit recommended crit damage, uh, that I'm at, because obviously, if you have a lower account, you could probably use an engineer, and you're, you're, you'd probably fire back at me like, you should just use engineer. Um, no. <laughs> uh, my crit level is so high that Dragon Rift is now much harder for me, and so there are a finite amount of things that I can use, um, and Tesla is probably the best one. I mean, I guess it's Riding Hood. Maybe Riding Hood is the best one. Uh, robot's okay. Um, even like a level 13 robot. Robot is, is fine. Um, I think robot might be the, the next thing that I book, uh, that I book of secrets. It might be scrapper if scrapper comes out and the talents are really good. Um, I, I haven't decided on what my, in two months from now, uh, what my next book of secrets is going to be. But, um, it, if, if scrapper isn't great at 15, um, I might book robot to 15. Anyway, 
uh, I decided to upgrade Tesla for that exact reason. I think that it's really good, even at level 10 that I have it at with one talent unlocked. Um, I'm able to do like 3,500 battles, uh, like, or recommended crit level 3,500 battles. Um, I don't think Corsair would be good in, uh, in Dragon Rift. I think it's a very late game deck and it doesn't do well early game. Um, in, in the, in the way that like, the ramp up in in difficulty is very uh, strong in the beginning of Dragon Rift. Like you have to just come out of the gate and be doing like high damage, and then do much higher damage late in like fourteens and fifteen, uh, level fourteen and fifteen. Um, but there's just not a lot of good technogenic cards, um, and obviously I don't have a high level Riding Hood, and that's all kind of. Uh, it, it, uh, event heroes are much easier to get because you can specifically buy them. Um, whereas regular heroes, you have to, uh, you have to, over the course of time, open up a lot of chests and find. So it'll actually be much easier for me to max out a Tesla than it would be for me to randomly get riding hoods, um, or to max out my, my robot, as it were. Um, I, I don't want to use book on anything less than when it, uh, when it starts to get to into the threes, um, when you need three copies, uh, I'm, I'm still at the point where I only need two copies for this, um, and so I bought another one, and then, uh, I I'll have two for the next one as well, uh, for the next two upgrades. Um, so that's my story on Tesla. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I am starting to save my summoners, obviously, because it's the best, uh, what's it called, uh, support unit, um, yeah, level 13, uh, I can, I can level 14 that, I'm saving Monk, Monk is so fun to play, um, I'm saving Demon Hunters, obviously, and that's pretty much it, I've basically crystalled everything else, I don't have a lot of crystals, I have one crystal, um, uh, heroes, uh, I have, all my rares are maxed, um, I have a level 18 bestie, so, I'm only two away, um, but I am also only two away from a max gadget. Um, I just got to 18 uh, recently, and uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, but like once you get to 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, it doesn't really feel different at all. Um, 15 is obviously the big one because you get the gold tiles, um, but it's not going to feel like a big like change until you get to 20 where you have the um, the cooldown refresh. Uh, level 13, uh, Snowflake, even a level 13 Mari is, is so good. Um, Mari is just such, it's a, it feels like an underutilized unit. Um, the fact that it does infinite damage, uh, forever, and the fact that if you push into, like, really late game bosses and you, you use a Mari on your, uh, on your opponent, they start to feel like bosses, so, like, you're just giving your opponent a fourth boss. Um, and the fact that you can, like, spawn it right when a boss is gonna happen, and if they don't have, like, splash damage, uh, like a deep, or if, if they don't have splash damage, like, a riding hood, and they have, like, dim, uh, like, either one, it only attacks the first boss, or, like, a demon hunter where it spreads the damage, uh, like, late game, like, they just don't do well. Um, Against, a, like, a late-game Mari. Um, my... Uh, getting to level 10 and getting the, the attack speed is... I don't know. It's somewhat of a difference. Uh, it, like, like I've always said, you're not using Mermaid for any of the other things. You're not using it for the damage. You're not using it for the attack speed. You're not using it for the crit damage. Um, you're using it for the, the, the protection bubble and, uh, and, and the cleanse on the five. Um, and then you're struggling to get to 20, so you can use it more often. Um, so I feel like my Mari is basically done. Like, I don't necessarily care about getting, like, it's 5 and 20. Those are the two, those are your two thresholds. Like, it is, it's, it is better at higher levels, but it's, it's fine. Um, I, when, when Dragon Rift first started, I was going really heavy into Flicker, um, and that's why I have 11 out of 22, because it felt like a free level 20 hero that you could potentially get over the course of time, because obviously, like, if you just keep buying this, that is, that is what you will do. You'll just get two at a time, every Dragon Rift, and then you'll eventually get a level 20 Flicker, and 
I just don't care about Flickr so so much to the point where Flickr just feels like something to once in a while make funny content for, like the Flickr deck. Uh, there is a Flickr deck out there. Um, I don't know if it does well. It probably doesn't do well. Um, but it's literally just Flickr uh, and Clock. It just wins with Clock. Um, the Flickr is your damage DPS unit, and then it just uses Clock, and it uses it's like Clock and dryad and scrapper and it's just a field full of clocks and that's it that's the deck um i think that's funny i think that deck is funny but i don't think it's it's not it's not a meta deck like you're just gonna die to banshee you're gonna die to anything that isn't that isn't affected by clock um because i'm pretty sure their dps unit can out out damage your flicker um and so, like, a, a merge deck, like a meteor deck, um, an infinite damage deck, uh, a banshee DPS deck, that's it. <laughs> like, just a banshee regular DPS deck that is unaffected by um, by speed. Um, it's going to beat a number of things, I suppose, but not enough to, to where anybody is even talking about it. Um, but so I've I've stopped getting flicker shards and I've instead uh, just started buying magic dust. Like honestly, that just feels like a better investment. Like fifty magic dust um, over the course of or a hundred magic dust over the course of a dragon rift is feels much better than the nothing that I was ever going to do with flicker. Um, heroes, um, Jake Paul will forever be at one. Um, so here we are. Uh, Necromancer or Zeus? Uh, the answer is Zeus. Uh, pick Zeus. Don't pick Necromancer. Um, Zeus, uh, having, get, getting to 15 on Zeus, which is obviously the, the specific reason why you're getting Zeus, um, Zeus at sub-15 isn't great. It's fine. Um, it's not the best. Uh, it, it feels like a much better trainer. That's what it feels like. Um, but I think, Ze but Zeus at 15 is the best hero in this game. If you're going to invest into anybody, invest in Zeus. Now that I've said that, uh, why did I uh, start? Why am I starting Necromancer? Uh, because if you didn't realize, uh, Necromancer and Zeus being gold level heroes have a gold level price tag. Um, so the initial cost to even unlock it is 25 uh, shards. Um, every, every event that comes by, uh, Rush for Glory, I think, I think it's a mirror match, uh, the, whenever the event comes by, and you spend, like, the $10 to buy the, the pass, I won't even talk about free-to-play. If you want to try to free-to-play this, um, I think they've jokingly stated, um, and I say jokingly, but there's, like, there's, there's actual data, you can back this up. I want to say it's 33 years, 33 or 35 years, um, for you to max out a, a gold hero. If you were fr completely free to play, I think it would take you and you, you finished everything. You fin you got all of the maximum amount, uh, per event. It would take you something between like something in the area of like 35 to 40 years, something in that area. If you were going to try to free to play it. Um, so assuming that you're not trying to free-to-play it. Um, the thing about... The, uh, the thing about... Uh, the, the gold heroes, uh, Zeus and Necromancer, um, it's that every... So the initial investment is 25 shards. Um, every... If you buy the pass and you had zero tokens, you get... 1800 coins over the course of that event but to buy the gold hero it's 2000 and you get four shards you can start doing the math um after your initial investment of ten dollars to get nothing obviously in the next one you will have um you will have enough to get it and more, so you will you will you will in the second one you'll have it. Uh, you'll be able to get the four shards, even though the first ten dollars that you just spent you got nothing. In the second ten dollars, you now have four 
and then you have more tokens so that in the next one, you will still have it. But you're always coming in at a loss, essentially, because it's 1800 per event, but it costs 2000 for the thing, right? So if you want to math this out, you need at least seven events, four times seven, right? Uh, is 28. Uh, so you'll have a little bit more than you need. And then, or I guess you could, what is it? Um, yeah, because four times six is 24. You would need at least seven, no, because seven would be the equivalent. You'd need at least like eight events in order to even just unlock, um, one of these heroes. Um, and that's like $80. That's already like, j just out of the gate, that's eight events, and that's like $80, right? Um, and now you've just unlocked it. But once you unlock it, now, um, all of the requ requirements are much smaller. So to go from one to two, it, it costs five. Um, and there's a chart that A-Friend Gaming has, and this was the thing that made me want to invest in this. Um, that that felt that this was an okay investment, uh, just in terms of like how much money is this going to cost? Uh, one, I don't really think about the money, mostly because this this because you could like add all of this up and be like you spent eighty dollars, and yeah, I did. Um, but over the course of eight months of eighty dollars, like you can do that with anything if you want in your life. Like if you go to the same um, coffee store, right? People always do this with, with like a cup of coffee, right? Um, or something, I don't know, like an energy drink. Um, and it costs two fifty. That means if you go there twice, that's five dollars. And if you go there four times, that's ten dollars, right? And that doesn't seem like a, like a, like a, a difficult investment. But then if you were to add that money over the course of a year or something, and you came up with some large number and you're like, oh, you're spending this on energy drinks. It's like, yeah, but you never really think about it because what's 250 a day? Um, and over the course of time, maybe, yeah, you can add up all of it and it sounds like some large number, but you could do that with anything. Like gas. Like if you spend $30 in gas for a week, that's, uh, what is that? Um, $120 a month. Isn't that a crazy number? Or yeah, $120 a month. If you were doing $30 in gas a week, are you going to not drive a car? It's like, but you don't think about it like that. You you think about it like this is just kind of what you like doing. Uh, you like driving a car and this is the cost that it is. And you just, you just kind of do it. Um, so in terms of money investment, uh, this is why I'm able to not think of this that terribly, even though, yes, it is a lot of investment. Um, a $10 investment per month is not a lot to me. And, and so like I'm able to just justify it like that. So that's my money investment commitment thing, um, on why I even wanted to invest in either Necromancer or, uh, Zeus. Um, but here's the other thing. Why Necromancer and not Zeus? Um, if I, if I think that Zeus is the better hero, because what deck doesn't want to upgrade a unit? Uh, or four units. I, I I can't remember how many tiles it gets. I think it gets uh, four tiles. Um, but what uh, what is it? Four tiles? Now I want to know. Charges up to two random tiles. Maybe it's four tiles with the uh, with the uh, what's it called the the heroic item. Um, but what what deck doesn't want to upgrade uh, upgrade their units for free? Just, just on an, just on a hero activation. Like, what deck doesn't want to do that? Uh, somebody's gonna inevitably, uh, write that deck in the comments. And, uh, good for you. Congratulations, you found the one deck. Uh, and now that I've said that, somebody's gonna write two decks in the comments. So, uh, good for you. You, you found two decks. Um, but, uh, what deck doesn't want to upgrade, you know, uh, units for free on hero activation? Um, and do all of the other things that Zeus does. Every deck. Every deck wants to do that. And that is the better deck. Um, it is, it is very definitively the better hero, uh, to get if you were going to invest into one of them, right? Um, because 
investing into both at the same time would just cost an astronomical amount of money. That, like, that amount of money is beyond me. Like, I might do it afterwards, but trying to invest $20 every, like, every month, um, or, like, just all, all the time, every time that, that these events cycle back, um, that would, that amount of money starts to go beyond my price range. Um, and that's where, like, I, I, I would be like, you know what? Maybe I don't have this amount of money right now. Um, but maybe if I were to max out a necromancer and I, now I just have like, all right, well, now I have free money. Um, maybe then I'll start Zeus. Zeus is the better hero. But why did I choose Necromancer? Necromancer, I feel, uh, for two reasons. Um, and you can go back to a video that I did when they were changing the Necromancer talents. Um, I think that Necromancer is a very unique hero. Um, in the sense that there are some decks, toxic decks, obviously, uh, that only specifically work because of Necromancer. Um, any toxic deck that exists, like a Sea Dog, Frost, Harlequin, uh, Minotaur, you know, uh, Shaman deck, right? You need Necromancer. I guess that's a deck that wouldn't benefit from a Zeus. Uh, like, you can't, you can't do, I mean, like, you could run Snowflake, but, like, Snowflake is, like, considerably worse than the insta-kill tiles that you would get off of Necromancer, um, the the auto shutdown of the edge units um making forcing your opponent to play differently um fun fact if you if you want the best counter to to necromancer decks cultist <laughs> i never even realized it until i played a couple of games with necromancer and it was so fun freezing out like the edges um and then i played against a cultist deck and i was like oh my god they don't use the edges um they, like, almost very specifically don't use the edges. Um, but yeah, it forces your opponent to play differently. Um, and when you mix this with, like, witch tiles, um, a, a witch tile and then weakness tiles, because um, you're obviously going to run Amulet of Weakness with this kind of deck, um, it forces your opponent to play differently. And, and then, it, it, but, and, like, there are some decks, like the Toxic decks, that only work because you have necromancer um and if it and even just that that makes me want to get necromancer over zeus because i will be able to make content for a wider range of like content things for for like once i max out a frost once i max out like i'm trying to think like investing in a necromancer or a zeus you're thinking about what is my game gonna look like five years from now like what? What? What am I? What is my entire like deck? Uh, what is my collection gonna look like five years from now? Um, once I max out like all of these, all of these things, um, what kind of content am I making? And even though I know that Zeus is better, I think Zeus is so generically good that you would then just start using it in every single deck. Um, in the same, in, in very similar to A Friend Gaming, um, like I love the guy. He's great, obviously, right? Top of the top of the Rush Royale food chain YouTube YouTuber Twitch people. Um, I think mostly because he speaks English. I feel like there's a lot of Russian. Uh, this is a Russian based game, and there's a lot of like um, content creators on Twitch now that I'm finding, um, but they only speak like I believe Russian um, and. I as I as an as an English speaking person, he is the top of like the the like the entire like country of of America. Um, any anywhere that you are an English speaking person, you're probably just watching a friend gaming because he's the he's basically the only person. Um, but a friend gaming, he always uses his level twenty Zeus every single game because why wouldn't you? That is the best hero. And I feel like if I were to get Zeus, that would become my content. Um, I would only play Zeus all the time because it's the best. Because you would always want to upgrade all of your units for free. Um, and I feel like if I force myself to get Necromancer and then force myself to use other things, um, like a Snowflake, like, or not, not a Snowflake. If I had Necromancer, I would never use Snowflake again, probably. Um, like a Mari, like a Gadget, um, 
like a J. Like, they all have very specific uses. Um, like, I'm not going to use Necromancer for everything. But, having said that, I also think that you can use Necromancer. Um, like I said, uh, if you watch my video uh, where I talked about Necromancer talents, um, because they did the upgrade to talents, uh, mainly this Phantom one, I think this Phantom one is really cool. Um, Incantation is amazing, and it also serves as a uh, a way to increase uh, the rank of one of your player's units at random. Um, I think that that's really cool. Um, and then, like, the fact that you get tiles in order to uh, insta-kill as well. Um, I, I feel like you, not only can you use Necromancer in a uh, toxic deck, but there was a part of me that was like, wow, I want to try running this in Blooming Dash. Like, if you had two tiles, and they were insta-kill tiles, and they were like, you summon phantoms to attack your, uh, to, to attack bosses and deal damage based on the, the stacks that you're getting from those tiles whenever you insta-kill, that's crazy. And then having a toxic element where you can lock them out of using their hero power, um, during boss rounds, like, that's amazing. All of this sounds amazing. So it, when they changed it from not just being a toxic hero to being a, a thing that you could theoretically put in a DPS deck, it just made me really, really interested in how that, how that works. I know that there are probably better options for DPS decks, like a Zeus, like a J, like a Gadget, right? And that's why you never see like DPS decks with Necromancer. I wanted to be the person that wants to try that. Like, I really actively want to, like, run a Blooming Dash Blade Dancer deck with a Necromancer, or a Spirit Master with a Necromancer. Um, I, I just think that that's so interesting, and it opens you up to a wider range of, like, I want to see if this deck works with this hero. As opposed to, I have this hero, Zeus, I'm going to use this for every single deck that I ever make from now until I, I stop playing this game. Um, because I think that that's what Zeus what does for you. I, and that's why I say, for you, a person that doesn't make content or care what other people think, you should get Zeus. Get Zeus and never look back. Just invest all of your money into maxing out a Zeus and every single game that you ever play from that point on will be better than, the, or as good as it possibly can be. But for me, as a content creator that wants to make interesting videos and wants to make interesting things, I think getting Zeus would, would make me just want to play Zeus all the time. Um, but forcing myself to get Necromancer will force me to make interesting content. And it'll force me to want to max out a, a Frost um, or a Sea Dog, things that I wouldn't normally care about. Um, and, and, and in maxing those out, that will also, um, force me to make other different kind of content, um, as opposed to a Zeus. But anyway, uh, that's my account review. Um, the, really quickly, these are my, um, equipments. Um, you can screenshot that if you want. Uh, but that's basically all my equipment. I, uh, I splurged on the, the spear. I just decided to upgrade it. Um, I feel like because it has forest faction, that was good enough. Even though the, uh, the faction, uh, bonus is not forest faction. And that's what was bothering me for the longest time. Um, I am, uh, trying to go, uh, upgrading, uh, my legendaries, uh, for my amulet of weakness and my mage robes. Um, my mage robe has, uh, uh, Magic Council and uh, Force Faction. So not only do I get the Force Faction bonus, but I will get um, bonuses on uh, Demon Hunter whenever I do that. Uh, so that'll be cool. Um, and then obviously Amulet Amul of Weakness for uh, whenever I start building Necromancer and like Toxic Decks and uh, Boreas sh uh, Sharpshooter Clock Decks uh, that I every so often run. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys.